Hi there, Mistress Ishpu here, and I wanted to do a vlog so you could see if I'm still alive or not. Well, everybody, as you can see, I am still alive for the most part. Yesterday I had my last procedure in ERCP to get my stent removed. They go down my throat, hence why I have a really sore throat and it's really hard for me to talk right now. And for those of you that just tuned in and just subscribed to me, there's a gallbladder recovery video which shows my days of recovery and how I failed to do so. Pretty much the rundown of my health is I was sick for two weeks in December, puking my brains out, had a lot of stomach pain, a lot of back pain. I went into the ER the first time and they were like, Ooh, you've been eating so healthy, therefore eating greasy food. Um, put your body into shock. Here's some Benadryl and pepto -mismol. Fail. That did nothing. Then two weeks after that, puked my brains out, really sick. Next time I went into the ER, they were like, Let's do an ultrasound in your stomach. It seems like you're in a lot of pain, so let's find out what's going on. Ta-da! Gallstones! So January 11th, I was admitted that night, and then January 12th, the next morning, they decided to do the surgery. I came back home. Then they were like, Oh, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be walking three to five days and go back to work. No, just kidding again. I went back to the hospital a few days later, and it so happens I had bile all over my stomach leaking out. <laughs> yes! I went to the hospital that night, and then I was transported to the bigger hospital. So the next day, they did a bile extraction. They numbed the area. They put a big needle. They... <laughs> and guess what? I kind of felt it, because they had a student do it, and he was poking some things he wasn't supposed to. Next day after that, I had a stent insertion, which wasn't that bad. It was pretty good, um, but I got some side effects after that. I got pancreatitis. And then I got UTI. And the thing is that when you get pancreatitis, you're not allowed to eat because it could flare up. So they had me NPO. Um, it's a Latin term, but I'll say the English term for it, which is nothing by mouth. For at least five to six days, so I was living off IVs. Unfortunately, my veins suck, and I had about 17 IVs die on me in like five to six days. So... After the week is done, I go back home. I would be fine in a week. No! Just kidding! I went back to the hospital because I had a lot of stomach pain. Like, insane stomach pain. And from what I've learned in my lesson before, I should go to the ER with the stomach pain. They did an ultrasound and it so happened that I had a little bit of bile left in my stomach. And I'm remembering back from when I had the bile extraction, they were like, I hope we got it all or she'll have to come back. Lovely! So, the surgeons told me that... The amount of bile in my stomach is so minuscule that they're not going to remove it. They're going to just manage my pain and then let it evaporate. But guess what happened? So, I went upstairs to my private room. They took me off that bed. I, you know, I was able to walk. I walked myself to the next bed. And I'm in my private room. And I'm like, hmm, I have to go pee. I stood up and almost nearly fell over. And I had a lot of intense pain in my left calf. Why, you ask? I developed a blood clot. How? When? No idea. All the doctors are like, Did you develop it after your surgery? No, I really didn't. I developed it like a month later, out of random. I just stood up to go pee. And voila! Intense pain. So yeah, that happened. And they put me on blood thinners and on Lovenox, which is a blood thinner and a shot. So I was there for a couple days. I still had the blood clot. I came back home with a walker because I couldn't walk, so that was, that was pretty cool. I came home, I did start to work like a month and a half later, and um, I was getting back to normal. And then yesterday was my last procedure ever, and I hope ever, I hope I have no complications, uh, no nothing, so here's to, you know, hoping, praying, whatever you do, whatever you have faith on, you know, faith on a table. Just, you know, keep me in your thoughts. The only thing right now that I'm feeling is the really intense pain in my throat. It's really hard to talk, but I want to really update you guys on what's going on. And um, I also have to do a video response for the 16-bit brother, so I gotta get in the filming mood. <laughs> and I banged my toe really bad. Can you see it? Ow. <gasps> it's like all black and stuff in there. It's pretty gross, so I shouldn't show you that. But anyways... Thank you for watching my vlog. 
I've been uploading videos as you see. I'm sorry I haven't been watching as much because I just I've been so tired and exhausted just back to work trying to get my life back to normal. I mean exercising sucks for me. Oh! Speaking of that, I lost 86 pounds! Yay! So I figured I should tell you all. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. I love you guys. Mwah! And stay gameristic. Hi there, Mr. S <coughs> Ishbo here. And I wanted to do a blog. Oh my. <coughs> and. <coughs>